We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we are looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stranger Things Issue 1. This is a mini-series from 2023 from IDW and Dark Horse Comics. Written by Cameron Chittock, art by Pharaoh Pei, colors by Sophie Dodson, letters by Russ Wooten, editorial assist by Nicholas Nino, ed by Chase Maratz and Jonathan Manning, senior editor Charles Beecham. I have cover A by Pharaoh Pei, and the cover's pretty good. It's just a pin-up, unfortunately but it is still pretty well done. Now one of the nice things about this miniseries is this is actually more along the lines of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Eastman and Laird and not the Nickelodeon show. So it's a little darker and a little bit more violent in ways. So the kids from Hawkins are in New York City with their school class and they accidentally get separated from their school group when they're waiting for L. They end up in the subway and there is a demo dog down there but it's slightly different than what they're used to. Now, when these things are about to attack, the kids are rescued by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it turns out these junior demigorgons are in fact cybernetic because they're not just regular demo dogs, which is like stage two or whatever of their development. They're actually part mouser as well. Now, there are other ones that are not encased in cybernetics that also attack them, but the turtles realize these kids know a lot more than they're saying and they may be useful to helping to stop them because they've run into Baxter Stockman before who's supposed to be in jail and they think maybe the kids can help so they end up having to split up to check out some leads when L does her thing to try and locate Stockman and it looks like Stockman is in fact not in jail and possibly trying to communicate so we're left with a cliffhanger ending that does not look like it's gonna go well for about half the team overall though I actually thought this was a really fun story usually these Stranger Things tie-ins are really boring and kind of lame and have no sense of peril or adventure Adventure. This one actually did have that, and I thought it captured the personalities of the characters pretty well. I'm not a giant fan of the way the humans are drawn in this. It definitely has an anime manga influence, but the static images are sometimes really, really good. The monsters look really good, and the turtles look great. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. I would like to see this artist do all turtle stuff, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle miniseries where there's not very many humans, other than like foot soldiers or something. I think that would be very interesting. And the book does doesn't treat you like you're stupid. It does assume you've seen at least one season of Stranger Things, probably season two and three, but it, you definitely only would need to watch a couple of episodes to get kind of the gist of what they're going for here and the various things that are related to it. So I thought this was surprisingly fun and I'm looking forward to reading issue two. There are some fun nerd references and it is very fast paced. So if you are a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or Stranger Things or both, then this will be for you. Like I said, I was very impressed because most of the Stranger Things books that I've looked at have been total trash or boring. This is the exact opposite. This is actually really fun. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one. We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stranger Things Issue 2. This is a four-part mini-series from IDW and Dark Horse in 2023. Written by Cameron Chittock, art by Pharaoh Pei, colors by Sophie Dodgson, letters by Russ Wooten, editorial assist by Nicholas Nino, editors were Chase Maritz and Jonathan Manning, senior editor Charles Beecham. I have cover A by Pharaoh Pei, which is a pretty good cover. It does relate to a What's going on in the book, although this scene never happens. So Eleven seems to think she is inside of the sheriff's home, but it's not really the case. Meanwhile, Raphael and Donatello, along with Dustin and Max, are trapped in holding cells, and thankfully Raph has a magic spell that lets him out. Meanwhile, Leonardo and Michelangelo and the other kids are discovering that there is an opening to the upside down, and this gate is mobile, so they might have a real problem 
problem on their hands because these subway cars go for miles and miles and possibly spreading their evil throughout the land. Well, they are beset by a demigorgon or two, and the others are having their own problems when they find out that Baxter Stockman and Eleven are hooked to some sort of machine that can only be shut off from the inside of the machine. So one of them has to go in and try and convince Eleven that this is not real. Now, it's a really fun book because the person they send into the machine is the probably the least useful person to send in, but there's some awesome sequences in here. The fight scenes between the turtles and the Debbie Gorgons are pretty good. The ending is a bit silly, but it does lead into the next issue. Overall, I thought this was a pretty solid story, and it's got some really good action scenes. I think the art is pretty solid overall for the monsters and the turtles. They look fantastic. The humans' mouths look a little weird. It's a pseudo-manga influence that we're seeing a lot of these days, and I find that kind of annoying. But otherwise, the art's fine. I think the artist just needs to work on mouths and stop trying to be pseudo-manga and find your own style. I think that would be much more interesting. But I actually like the interior art better than the cover art, especially because this artist is really good at drawing the turtles. And I'd like to see more of this artist working on the turtles. And I really like the fact that the turtles are the original look and feel of the turtles from the original comic book series and not the animated series because it's a little darker of a theme and it kind of relates better to the original turtles. So all around a pretty solid work. If you like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Stranger Things, this is a pretty solid crossover so far. And I'm looking forward to reading issue three. And the $4 cover price is cheaper than you would expect from a crossover book. They've been milking those type of books for about five bucks these days unfortunately and this one's actually pretty good unlike most of the stranger things comics this one is shockingly fun and well written so hopefully that continues through the rest of the mini series but we will see on those until then give it a chance and check it out that's going to do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one. Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we are looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stranger Things issue 3. This is a four part mini series from IDW and Dark Horse Comics in 2023. Written by Cameron Chitak, art by Pharaoh Pei, colors by Sophie Dodgson, letters by Russ Wooten, editorial assist by Nicholas Nino, edited by Chase Moritz and Jonathan Manning, senior editor Charles Beecham. I have cover A by Pharaoh Pei. That is a really cool cover. I do like that one quite a bit. It does relate to what's going on in the book. So while Donatello and Dustin try and figure out how to shut the machine down, Raphael's inside the dream world beating the crap out of Baxter Stockman from the look of it. And we get kind of a recap of Eleven and Raphael's origins. Meanwhile, the other boys are fighting for their lives with the turtle's weapons, trying to help as much as possible. But thankfully, Michelangelo and Leonardo are able to handle things quite nicely with their mad ninja skills and a fire. So we learn how Stockman got connected with the Demogorgons and how he was able to turn some of them into pseudo-mousers. We learn a little bit about the hold of the Upside Down as two of the turtles have to go in to try and rescue civilians, which does not go well, and unfortunately they find out that an old enemy may actually be involved as well. And of course, let's not forget the Mind Flare. So we're left with a crazy cliffhanger ending. Looks like it's going to be a pretty insane showdown, and honestly, Honestly, I thought this was really, really fun. A surprisingly good action adventure. The turtles look great. Some of the humans look a little goofy in the face. Eleven has a giant forehead in this. That's really disturbing. And you can tell who everybody is. I would prefer they not have weird manga mouth, but overall, it's decent art style, and he draws the turtles really, really well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this wraps up. I hope it ends really well, because I've really enjoyed the book so far. It's actually making a Stranger Things comic into something interesting and compelling as opposed to the usual irrelevant boringness that I've seen with previous stuff of theirs. So let's hope for the best on the conclusion, but it looks like things are going to work out to be a pretty interesting story, and I'm real glad I've read these so far. Let's hope the payoff is worth it. So a solid recommendation on this one. It's one of the better books on the market, especially from an indie company. To get the chance to read these, I would absolutely recommend them for anybody that likes the Turtles or Stranger Things. But that's going to do it for this 
this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one. We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we are looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Stranger Things Issue 4. This is a four-part miniseries from IDW and Dark Horse that started in 2023. Written by Cameron Chittak, art by Pharaoh Pei, colors by Sophie Dodson, letters by Russ Wooten, editorial assist by Nicholas Nino, editors Chase Moritz and Jonathan Manning, senior editor Charles Beecham. I have cover A by Pharaoh Pei, which I like that cover quite a bit. It is really cool. So the Hawkins kids are trying to work with turtles to figure out what to do and some of the turtles are on the upside down thankfully donatello and Raphael recruit casey and april to get them to where they need to go they got information from baxter stockman that aliens were involved in this and that's something that mike and leo already knew so we get some background on how they were trying to get home and they ended up accidentally opening a portal to the upside down things went horribly wrong from there so the two groups have to go to Times Square and deal with the situation with the Mind Flare. Things do get a bit silly in this one. We got the Hawkins kids getting weapons from the Turtles because they've earned them, supposedly. You were in one fight and used a sword poorly. You didn't earn anything. Also, Raphael gives Eleven a turtle mask for some reason. I don't really know what that's all about. There's a couple other little silly things in here that were a little bit annoying. Things got wrapped up pretty quickly and I didn't really have a problem with that but it was a little rushed and probably could have used a little more explanation because there is this alien that's working with the mind flare and they don't really address it beyond some dialogue boxes that could have been elaborated on a little more and they could have cut some of this fan service cheese out in favor of that I would say the story is good and it was a lot of fun to read it just had a few cutesy parts at the end that were a little bit annoying for an average comic reader that's been reading comics for a while and they were trying to do a little too much fan service by doing these kind of fan fiction elements of like oh you've earned this when you really did but the cover's good the art is solid i am liking this artist's style more than I, as i see it i still think the humans faces look a little weird at times but the turtles look amazing as a mini series i would absolutely recommend it like i said this last issue had a few minor problems that were a little bit annoying and a little too much fan fiction nonsense but not enough to dissuade me from recommending this miniseries. I thought the story was just fine and had a lot of really cool elements. It's better than any of the one-shots or miniseries because it actually is an original story and doesn't rely too heavily on MacGuffins. So if you get a chance to check this out, I would say do it. Try and get it in trade paperback for a decent price or pick up the back issues reasonably cheap. I wouldn't pay more than cover price for them, but I didn't feel cheated for the cover price. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one